So this is where my dad used to work. Yeah? After moving to, after moving to Kajado. So we just came across a group of boys here. They have camels, so they have decided that we go test camel milk. So let's... we also have beehives in our bushes here in Kajado. Two. Who wants to swim? Me. Who wants to swim? Me. Who's ready to swim? Me. Put on your bikini. <laughs> it's allegedly that uh, this bridge costed a hundred million. A hmm? hundred million bridge. We are standing on a hundred million Kenyan shillings. Not Ugandan shillings, not Tanzanian shillings, but a hundred million Kenyan shillings here in Kajado. And they are still constructing. Oh, that's a borehole. So here, love wins. Love wins. Where? Where? Love Where? wins. This one. This one. Love wins. This one. <laughs> <laughs> there are rare snakes here. Yeah? If you want to be bitten by poisonous snakes, come here. First gate up. So today being on a Saturday, my family visited, and uh, we had a sleepover. Uh, the previous night, yeah, we woke up, we did some challenges at home. I'll be uploading very soon. So we decided that let's go take a stroll yeah, in our village. Let's go get some fresh air in our village. Because here in Kajado, there is fresh air compared to Nairobi. Living in the village is the best life you can ever imagine. So here is my family. I was with my late brother's kids. That's uh, Adrian. No, not Adrian. Uh, Linus and Lynn and then I have my brother Dennis and his girlfriend I have my sister Maureen and my nephew yeah uh, Linsel we are going for a walk in the bush yeah and in Kajado there's a lot of uh, uh, wildlife activities you can do yeah you you might uh, just be walking and then you come across gazelle zebra yeah even lion. At night, we have hyenas, <laughs> Kenyan men, <laughs> on the loose. Yeah, we also have flowers in Kajado. It's very green. I always tell you, come find a piece of plot here in Kajado. You will enjoy this ambience. And then we have good roads because this is a maram road. Yeah, in our village, it is a maram road, but we are, we also have a tarmac road. Like uh, 500 meters from here, we have. A tarmac road until you reach uh, the town and then we have an international school here yeah from Brighton yeah in the in the uh, city of uh, Birmingham in the UK <laughs> so this is our village yeah it's cool the Sun is out the sky is clear mm? you are just having fun moving up and down dissing each other yeah just as a family we are just bonding talking about life how is life yeah? business ideas we are just having a lot of ideas and then then also we have uh, beautiful houses in our villages so we were talking about how ca uh, can we build our mom a nice house like that one in there like it's a beautiful house we have rich people living here and they have beautiful houses so we were just taking pictures of the houses so that once we start building our own family, we want a family house, like a four-bedroom or five-bedroom house. Like when we are living in together with the family, everyone can have their own room, but we share the living room and we share the kitchen. But every room should have a toilet and so on and so on. So it was so nice, yeah? Having family come together, just walking, talking about nothing, dissing each other, laughing about everything, yeah? sharing everything we have. Like, it's a nice way of opening up, yeah? Because nowadays, life, <laughs> life is so tricky. Like, you can be having someone and they are depressed. They won't talk about it, but once you start, uh, like, having a conversation, they will open up like, you know, I'm going through this and this, my life is hard, I've been trying to do this, but uh, financially, I'm not good, yeah? So you find that when they speak up, you can try to help them. So you were just having fun in the village. The cars were just passing, yeah. And then even my bro's uh, girlfriend was saying that I want Ford eh? Rapture. I, was, I don't know. 
you have pro box and everything. So this is our village. This is the village life. So it's allegedly that uh, this bridge costed a hundred million. A hmm? hundred million bridge. We are standing on a hundred million Kenyan shillings. Not Ugandan shillings, not Tanzanian shillings, but a hundred million Kenyan shillings here in Kajiado. And they are still constructing. Oh, that's a borehole. So here. This is the bridge. You see, it was open on 11-04-2024. Service dams. Yeah, it is. Wow. And then we have a mosque. We have a mosque around here. So if you are a Muslim, you can move to Kajado and get a land here, get a land there. You have your mosque here. We have your bridge here, 100 million bridge. This is how it looks like. Oh, what's Ah, wow. So, you want to go this way? Go this way, go that way, we go like that. So amazing. Kids are swimming. This crocodile. It's very hot. You want to go back? It's very hot. That's a big loss. You don't have a lineage. <laughs> My brother is saying in Luya culture, if you die. Uh, when you reach the age where you are supposed to have a family, if you die and you do not have family or kids, they will put those uh, maize cob in your. <laughs> Who wants to swim? Me. Who wants to swim? Me. Who's ready to swim? Me. Put on your bikini. <laughs> so if you come in Kajado, you have cows. Here is where the cows assemble. Here. They come here, you see, even the, uh, how do you call it, footsteps. Then they take water. This water is for the cows. Under the bridge, we are under the bridge. The Maasai water. This is the Maasai water. It's very brown in color. Look at it. Very brown. Very brown. Yeah. So we are here at the, let's say it's a well or something. No, it's a, it's not a well. Oh, here's. Um, camels. Wow. Look at the camels. Who wants to see the camel? Here is camels. Come here. Wow. Come to the bridge, brother. Come here. The come camel. Yeah. Wow, yeah, it's so cool. Cool breeze. Cool breeze. In Chinese model, Kweli. 
Amun kena mode. Oh. Made by karaoke. Eish. Kumbu na mjua. You know karaoke. So this uh, bridge was constructed by a Kenyan called Karaoke. Karaoke did an amazing job here. Linus, I'm going to Linus, I'm going to get there. You can, you can just eat me in a pancake. Oh, they're going to eat me in a pancake. This crocodile. Crocodile is here. Crocodile. 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 Crocodile is biting us. Mutuaki. Ikienda hivi. Nendanga hivi ama hivi. Oh. Kume nendanga hivi. Nendanga hivi. Managu. They drank on caution of see what happens. Ah. <laughs> ah. Wow, yeah. This sun. Sun so. Ah, yeah, yeah. During dry season. <laughs> Fish. Let's do some fishing here. Linus. Love wins. Love wins. Love wins. This one. This one. Love wins. This one. 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 This is it? My name is Kana Evie Straight Evie. It's for frogs. Mm. Ah. How do you know? That's how they do it. This is how frogs hatch. <laughs> they breed like this. I'm going to hatch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As you are This is the hyena's hi uh, waste oh. product. Poop. <laughs> <laughs> so, the hyena's here. Hmm? Kenyan men are here. <laughs> <laughs> Kenyan men are here. <laughs> yeah, strong. Wow. I mean, she I mean, you. Jinenda Ivi. Do you mean How? Ivi. Jinenda Ivi. Yeah. Water currency in Ivi. 
So you are looking for bathing, bathing stone like this one for scratching your legs, for washing your legs. Yeah. <laughs> Free pedicure. Free pedicure is here. Let me find one. This one uh, looks good. This one. It's not rough. This one. Too small. Wow. And this one. No. Too smooth. Sarah, you can very expensive. You will lose the Kenya and get money. You can go to one thousand. One thousand five hundred. I'm a lefty, lefty, woo wee! <laughs> Smooth. Uh. Amazon. Thank you. Hey, 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 Okay. Okay. Will come. Yeah. Waka we shoot at you. Yeah. Aja tuone. Na una viatu. Next, next, next. Two. Go! Why are you Go! <laughs> it's about to rain. Yago. 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 It's so clean. You just you, you just washed your hands with the pee from uh, elephants. Don't drink that one. Frogs. Frogs are breeding. Kasongo. Is that Kasongo? <laughs> Yeah. Hmm? 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 Hmm?
and Philippines. As a baggage tan. So na pika di. Una paswa. Una pika kidogo. My brother is explaining how you can cook ostrich eggs. Yeah. <laughs> if you are building in Kajado, here is the sand. Fine sand. Fine sand. Antelope meat. They are lekker. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what <laughs> but at Love is beautiful. <laughs> Is this loom sorry? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, there's something here, I swear. Either people or animals. It's still fresh. Beef. Beef. Oh my god. <laughs> this is clay soil or loom soil. Give me. <coughs> Give me half of it. Half of it. Yes. Uh, I was Sab. Was here. 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 Okay, pay him to pay and dig again. I'll be Subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> We are 2014. Yeah, kids. Kids are swimming here. Kids are swimming. You can come and swim here. You're still here. So we just came across a group of boys here. They have camels, so they have decided that we go taste camel milk. So let's go. They are like, uh, they are strangers. Yeah. We've, we've trusted strangers. Camel milk. <laughs> yeah, to catch a mush eleven to to pick it. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 Very nice. Zambele, Zangela, eh, Dungana Mumuna, and Dana Tambale. 
<laughs> we also have beehives in our bushes here in Kajado. The weather is perfect in Kajado, so we have decided that let's go have a trip with the family. So we are just on foot, yeah, here in Kajado, Kenya. Another beehive is here. So if you, if you mess around with this beehive, it's gonna be world war. So this is where my dad used to work. Yeah? After moving to, after moving to Kajado. <laughs> your papa your papa used to work inside here. Then I said my mum kweli. I think there are rare snakes here. Yeah? If you want to be bitten by a poisonous snakes, come here. Inside here. See? So let me explain something. When my dad got retrenched in 2002, and then they came to Kajado, they bought a land here. This is where I used to work. Yeah? He used to, uh, I don't know the type of job he was doing here, but every day he used to wake up at 8 a.m. and by 4 p.m. he was at home. So I'll see you on the next video. Kindly subscribe and like the video. Bye-bye.